Hey guys, today we've got a special unboxing. I have the NES Classic Edition here, and I have been super pumped to get one of these because I still rate the Super Nintendo as probably the best gaming console of all time. But the thing, the reason I really wanted this is because Apart from the fact that it comes with 21 games, I really, really want to play the original Super Nintendo edition of Final Fantasy VI because that's the only game I haven't played yet. So anyways, it's finally here. I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna see what's inside this box. I gotta say the packaging was a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It's pretty minimalist. It's pretty nice, pretty retro, I guess. The, the front side looks very, very early 90s inspired and the back side is just full of all these little graphics of the different games that comes with it so there is no tape to cut on this in fact it's just a simple cardboard flap it just opens up and let's pull it out so first up we have the instruction booklet it says super mario world um it looks like it has a whole bunch of little blurbs on all the games that are included. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, don't really have to look at that right now. We have an adapter. It looks like a USB port that you plug into the wall. And this looks like the first of the controllers. So this is the Super Nintendo controller. Feels like a Super Nintendo controller that I remember. The buttons Y and X are concave while A and B are convex. Classic Nintendo D-pad. The L and R feel different. I can't tell you why, but they do feel not quite as I remember. But anyways, it could just be my memory. They plug in via this propri proprietary port. Um, cool. And of course, there is the second controller. This is nice. We have an HDMI cable and a USB cable, which you can use for the console. And finally, we have the Super Nintendo Classic Edition itself. It's very small, it's really cool. It fits, it's about, just about the uh, surface of my handprint, so a very small little cute machine. The controllers are definitely very large compared to it. Uh, I believe to plug in the controllers, oh, you pull from the bottom. Oh, you, they both come out at the same time. So there they are. It's a bit of a shame that they couldn't use the original ports, but what can you do? I like how the reset button actually works. Same with the power button. This is just a bit of a vanity window here. There's nothing there that can't really pop down to put a cartridge in. Uh, the back side is just an HDMI port. I'm a little bummed out. I do have a CRT TV, and I really wanted to use these on original uh, composite cables, but what can you do? And uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, very small console. 21 games, pretty psyched to play it. Pretty happy that I was able to get one of these. I know these are in uh, pretty tough to get, but hey, Nintendo claims that they're supposed to be having a pretty good production run on them. So hopefully if you guys want one, you'll be able to get your hands on one. But uh, so far it looks so good to me. Nice slick piece of hardware, doesn't feel cheap. And uh, yeah, pretty pumped. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.